focus. We've got the management of Sun Group with us, Mr. Narayanan, on uh, you know the revival that they're seeing in ad growth, investments and strategy for Sun Next, as well as uh, the outlook going forward on subscription and margins and so on. Thanks for joining us uh, this morning. Um, let's just talk about first uh, Mitten Ryanan, earnings, of course, dragged this time by challenging uh, ad environment and higher operating costs. Now, with the current uh, scenario as we see it, as well as a broad-based economic slowdown, you know, while we did see some amount of, uh, did, you know, benefit of uh, the tax rate cut, just weigh it up for us. You know, how much did you see in terms of a relief and how much pain do you continue to see as well with regards to the current scenario? Uh, <clears throat> good morning. I think the pain is going to continue because uh, whatever uh, we are seeing in the environment uh, doesn't look uh, too uh, heartening. So the slowdown in my mind is probably going to continue at least for the next uh, couple of quarters. And which is why at the investor call after the Q2 results, we have guided to the fact that there may not be any growth this year on advertising. Fortunately for us, subscription revenues are uh, uh, doing absolutely fine. Uh, we are also discovering uh, newer sources of revenue uh, thanks to a lot of OTT players uh, starting operations. And also the telcos wanting our content to be placed within their apps. So uh, this year, uh, we will see subscription revenues growing by at least 20%. So net-net, we will grow uh, modestly, uh, but the real uh, uh, challenge is on the ad side. And I hope that by end of this current financial year, things start looking up. When you say things are looking tough, are you talking about this calendar year or are you referring to next year's visibility as well? Uh, Nikunj, uh, this, uh, uh, when I say year, uh, this is a financial year uh, and uh, I, as I said, you know, we will see some green shoots around New Year, Pongal, uh, but till 31st March, uh, based on whatever inputs I have from my colleagues who talk to the large advertisers and the agencies, uh, uh, we need to be extremely uh, <laughs> downbeat. There's no reason to uh, you know, feel optimistic about any recovery happening in advertising. So how are you managing uh, the show then? Are you cutting cost? Are you cutting content and manpower cost both? Uh, because you need to protect your margins. You are a company which has always given high return on equity to shareholders. How would you manage that? Uh, no, we, there's no way we can cut investments in content. In fact, we are beefing up investments in content. Uh, if you look at uh, between end of June and now, our ratings points on the flagship channel have zoomed from 908 to consistently about 1200. So expressing that as a market share number, it's gone from 38.5 to 44 uh, percent. The, the idea is to keep investing and stay ahead of the curve. So as and when the rebound happens, uh, we'll be ready to, uh, you know, uh, take a disproportionate share of the incremental spend. So I don't see any way we can, uh, you know, scrounge on investments in content. And similarly is manpower. I think uh, people who make it happen are our people. We simply can't, uh, you know, cut uh, manpower costs. And that's the reason why margins will also be under pressure. But uh, that's the right thing to do if you take uh, a view uh, slightly longer term and not uh, you know, do a slash and burn kind of a strategy. Right. Also wanted to understand, SL, on what's happening on ads, excluding broadcast. Because, you know, I see in your quarterly performance as well, your revenue slid about a percent and a half on a year on your basis. Does ad growth really look challenging to you for the coming quarters as well? amidst, you know, a clear cutback in ad spends from key advertisers. Absolutely, Aisha. In fact, uh, uh, that's exactly the point I made earlier. Uh, at least uh, till end of March 2020, 
Uh, I don't think we should uh, look for any, you know, revival in ad spends. Uh, it's it's a pretty tough situation at this point in now because everybody is cutting down on uh, marketing spends, and I don't blame our uh, customers because it's a tough world out there. Okay, the good thing is subscription is growing, and being part of the media industry, I can you know share yes. state for certainty. But do you think after this one-time flip which the media industry has got because of subscription growth, uh, there could be a slowdown mm -hmm. there, A, because of the base effect, B, we don't know what disruptive policy Reliant Geo will also follow. So what is great news for this year may not be such great news for next year on subscription growth. No, there will be even better news next year because uh, much of the gains that we've had in subscription have happened over the last few months. Like we've just signed a very large deal with an OTT player and those revenues start kicking in from 1st of October. So that deal on a full year effect will move the needle next year. And similarly, we've signed a large deal with a telco uh, and they're going to be paying us for positioning Sun Next as an app within an app and uh, that will soon get replicated uh, uh, by the other two operators as well. This is exactly what happened when we started placing our channels on a linear basis uh, with that uh, uh, large telecom operator and the other two followed immediately. And we also think that uh, as and when new investments keep uh, happening in the rollout of fiber, uh, uh, content will drive the choice. So telcos will inevitably want top quality content and they'll bundle that along with their offering. And we are seeing this with almost every telecom operator now. So there is a very large uh, uh, fiber operator who's going to launch operations. And uh, we think that uh, there are further revenue upsides on subscription because at the end of the day, uh, if you're a South Indian, you can't live without us and people will pay for content. As Bill Gates famously said, content is king and it'll continue to be king. How much of your uh, distribution projections are from the traditional business, the pure broadcasting, the old school business? And how much of it will come from new businesses which perhaps did not exist three years ago, like a geo business or OTT business? These businesses were not there three years ago. Yeah, if you look at our current run rate on subscription, it's roughly about 400 crores per quarter. Uh, not even five or six percent comes from the new platforms uh, like mobile phones and OTT. Uh, so if I, if I look at the, uh, the whole landscape, India has got about uh, 180 uh, uh, you know, cable and satellite homes, of which about 54 million is in South India. So it's either served by digital cable or analog cable or DTH. You look at the opportunity on the mobile phone side, it is estimated that we have something like close to 360 smartphones and we're just scratching the tip of that iceberg. Everybody is a potential customer for us because people like to have a look at news and entertainment on the go. And if it's priced attractively, at a fraction of what you charge for a full bouquet, people will take it. And the telcos are naturally interested in taking us on board because this drives consumption. The more people use data, it's more, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the ARPU scene gets better for telcos. So I think there is a huge opportunity that's waiting to be tapped. And, you know, we understand that Sunnext has already seen a threefold growth in a month in subscribers and that you plan to reach 20 million by the next couple of months, as we understand. But tell me, you know, just the, just the math behind it. What is the total investment for Sunnext over the next two years that you've earmarked and what really is the digital strategy for you going forward? Uh, Aisha, at this point in time, we have not uh, put any significant investments into Sun Next, uh, but we will start uh, from this quarter onwards. Uh, between uh, the second half of the current financial year and the next financial year, 
uh, we plan to spend close to 150 crores on originals and uh, new shows which will premiere on Sun next but in line with our strategy which uh, uh, is uh, in making sure that our content is available across all platforms we will also repurpose these uh, uh, these programs for uh, for uh, airing on the regular Sun TV channel and we may also put it on other platforms like say YouTube so uh, the idea will be to start with exclusives and make it available across all platforms because that has really uh, done wonders for us because till date we have not done any exclusives on Sun Next. We are only using our existing film library and we are putting all our serials and shows on uh, on a catch up basis on Sun Next and that itself has uh, you know produced some outstanding results for us. So as we go forward even if we take the revenues generated from Sun Next through subscriptions and just repurpose them into new content. Uh, uh, I think we will have a great strategy going forward. Thanks so much for joining us then this morning, Mr. Narayan, and getting a complete 360 perspective on the plans uh, going forward as well. Thanks so much.